hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video my friend is going to be doing these lovely soft locks that you see here and she's going to be showing you step-by-step -step instructions on how to achieve this look so if you like what you see go ahead and continue watching this video don't forget to subscribe and I hope that you enjoy this video go ahead and keep watching hey guys this is Mo with eye candy braids and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did this soft lock look on my friend but before we get into all of that make sure you follow eye candy braids on Instagram okay so pretty much first things first I'm gonna show you the gel that I use well it's not really a gel it's called glaze by she is bomb and it is the bomb so make sure you go get that um, as you can see I'm not using a lot of product because the product does go a very long way so do use with discretion okay um, the foundation of these soft locks are pretty much the box braids so as you're doing the box braids make sure your parts are neat make sure you grip each strand of hair which this she is bomb product does help out with that like it just does its damn thing and do make sure when you are braiding your box braids that you braid them all the way out to the end that is super important all right so i wanted to show you guys really fast the kind of parts that i'm doing um these are called brick parts okay brick parts i don't really know how to explain it but um you get the gist by how i'm showing it to you but brick parts they're really good because they help the hair to fall into each other instead of like falling on top of each other so they fall right in between and it just makes your hair look better all right so this is what it looks like once the box braids are finished okay so I'm just pulling it up so you can see how neat and nice and lovely this looks I love this I just love I love it I love it I love it and a little tip that I can give to you guys is when you are doing soft locks these parts are too small the boxes are too small so I recommend definitely making your parts and boxes bigger okay it'll help trust me um, the type of hair I used is gonna be Bobby boss new locks these are the best I love them I haven't heard anything bad about them um, they do come in different colors different you know lengths this is 18 that I'm using on her so excuse the kid in the background <laughs> but so let's get to it so this is what the bobby boss new locks look like i'm gonna do a few really fast just put a few in her head and then i'll just okay well there we go <laughs> um <laughs> i am not taking that out the video anyway so this is pretty much i think i did what four rows already um super quick super quick this style should take you no longer than six hours to do so i'm going to show you how to apply the lock to the hair before we get into that i just want to point out really fast that each lock has two ends one end is just going to fall the other end is going to be the end you crochet so you can't use just any end they're different okay so this one, you can't really see it, but you'll see it a bit more later down in the video. Um, one end just ends, the other one has a little loop, which is this little loop thing. Do not pay attention to my nails. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so now we're ready to pretty much just crochet. Okay, I brought you guys all the way to this. So first things first, push your crochet needle downward always. Put your fingers through the loop end of the lock and put it through the crochet needle and make sure it is closed and then pull it up just like so like so okay then when it's in what you need to do is put your fingers open it back up and you're gonna grab both of them not one you're gonna do two okay two um you're going to grab the natural hair and the lock and you're going to put it through together i don't know why i'm emphasizing so much i think i think we get the point <laughs> so you grab both of them and you pull them through okay 
when it is through you have to grab both with two different hands because you're going to be knotting it okay the natural hair goes up the soft lock goes down and you just pull it as tight as it can go don't get scared at this point this is not going to hurt your client or your friend or whomever you're doing it's not going to hurt so pretty much when this is done it's going to be time to wrap so I'm going to hold the natural here in my right hand because I am right handed and I'm going to hold the soft lock into my left hand um, because that's the one we'll be wrapping with. So if you're left handed I guess it'll be the other way around but whatever suits you, whatever floats your boat, whatever is more comfortable for you, you just do it that way. So just so you can kind of understand what I'm doing, I'm fluffing out, just kind of separating the lock only at the tip okay do not um, fluff out the entire lock just fluff out the one that you're flipping at the time um, because it's gonna it's gonna overlap the other wrap that you just did do not just space them out overlap them because over time if you're gonna have this in for months or wait, 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 wait not months guys take it out wash your hair and then put it back in <laughs> but if you're gonna have it for weeks at a time um, it's going to definitely help with the wear and tear and all that stuff. But long story short, when you are wrapping, overlap it, okay? It, it rhymes, so maybe that will help you remember. When you wrap, overlap, do not leave a gap because it's not cute. It's not going to do you any justice. You have to make sure you are overlapping, all right? That's a super important tip. Um, but I'm going to do another lock. So if this one wasn't as helpful, I'm just going to do another one. So back with the needle. And of course the needle goes down. And you grab your lock. And find the loop end. Because remember it has two ends. So you find the loop end. And you put that end on the crochet needle. And do make sure you close it. If you don't close it, more than likely it's going to close on its own when it's passing through the hair but it can also pull on your client's hair, so try not to do that. Um, once you pull it through, grab both hair, which is the lock and the natural hair. You're gonna grab both of them, like so, like so. And you pull it through the loop. Pull it through the loop. <laughs> I am so sorry, guys. I make myself laugh. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, so we get the hair through the loop. And remember, natural hair goes up and the lock goes down. And you just pull it until you get it really tight. Remember, this is not going to hurt your clients. It's okay. Um, now we're just going to fluff with the left and pull over with the right thumb. Okay, so you're fluffing it out just a little bit. Try not to do the whole lock, just enough for the one that you're wrapping. And do not forget to overlap. Super important. Super, super, super important. There's a piece coming up that you can see how I'm overlapping it. Okay, so right here. You see? Overlap. Exactly. Just like that. So you do that with the entire lock, and it gives it a more like natural lock look, which is what we want. Alright, so just keep wrapping your hair until it's at the very, very end. For her hair, at the end, it's blonde, so I have to go back and just touch it up a little bit. Um, which, as you can see right here, I have to go back and just tuck them in. But this is pretty much the finishing um, product. Again, I'm, just, I'm not going to stress this enough. If you do not want this full, big hair lock look, make sure you ask your stylist to give you bigger parts okay or if you are the stylist just make sure you um, recommend bigger parts to your client if they don't want a super big look but anyway make sure you subscribe to Georgiana's channel don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment or whatever you want to do I don't know and also follow iCandyBraids on Instagram